Hi, this is Dina with Pretty Productive. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today is a little bit of a confession, a little bit of whining, and a budget layout for September as well as cash stuffing. So I don't know what happened in August. I just completely did not want to budget. I did write down my transactions. I did not worry about overspending in categories. I kept pulling money out of my checking account. And so I really wasn't going to sit down and film this today because honestly, it's not a good example of what to do in your budget. But it's an honest video. And I think if you are budgeting or you are in that process of paying off debt and managing your envelopes and your cash and paying off credit cards, it is the reality that there might be a point where you just don't want to do this anymore. And that's the point that I'm at right now. So I have been budgeting this way since 2019. It has been extremely successful for me. We have been able to pay off all of our debt, including our mortgage. And now what I need to budget is really just our everyday expenses, our annual bills, and so it's not fun, it's not exciting. It's not like I'm seeing a result because I paid off a bill or I'm not seeing incremental income in my budget because we paid something off. It is literally a fixed bare bones budget. And I don't know, I don't know what the um, future of this channel is going to be, but for today, let's go ahead and get started. So this is how I ended my sinking fund. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. What I do at the end of the month, whether I want to or not, <laughs> I do reconcile my sinking funds. I do have a lot of different envelopes as well as accounts on Capital One. I do have to plan what I'm going to put in this month because I need to pull cash or I need to transfer money into those accounts. And I start this kind of on this sheet. This is a Excel spreadsheet that I do. It's an online one that I plug in the amounts. It does the calculations for me as far as my income, what my total expenses are going to be, both my fixed monthly and my lifestyle expenses. It tells me what I have left for sinking funds once I pull that $500 out for savings. And so for my sinking funds, I had $1,757. And then I break them down a little bit further on if they're highlighted, those are cash pulls. If they're not, they're going to be transferred into Capital One. So from my checking account into my Capital One savings accounts, and those are hooked up to my Capital One credit card. If you are not familiar with um, Capital One accounts, that has been my biggest aha learning when I started watching budging channels because I saw YouTubers that would transfer money into a checking and savings accounts on Capital One and then they would just use their card and then transfer that money back. Instead of holding the money in their own checking or savings account where the money could be pulled for a different reason or get mixed in with other funds, you are able to go ahead and create those accounts and they are specific to what you are saving for. So I have absolutely loved Capital One. So let's get started with this budget. Um, I think you all at this point could probably do my budget in your sleep. Um, this is a four week month for me. For August, it was a five week month, so it was a very long month. Um, unfortunately, our income has not changed. So 39.18 and 39.18. So I just take what I pull for my pension and my husband's pension and just divide it by two. My daughter pays me 300 a month um, for her phone bill and then some money that she owes me. I am working four days this month, um, but I never count that because that could change. So 39.18 plus 39.18 plus 300. So total income of 8,136. And so that number comes up here to my income. Now, normally these are different colors, but my one printer, which is a tank one, a tankless one, it has the thing. It, it's my colors are messed up right now, so I need to figure that out. Um, I do put $500 into savings a month just to try to build up my savings account that is attached to my checking account. 
Um, my car tags are due this month, but I already have that money in my um, savings for that. So they're 575, I think. And I currently have 800 in there. So I have to really work hard to build back up my maintenance account as long as well as my, you know, all those different things. I am currently under a maintenance program. My car still under warranty should be for the balance of 2023 and into 24. Um, definitely will expire in September of 24 based on my miles and time. So at that point I need to really get serious. Well, prior to that, to really start to build up. Um, I just paid for new tires. That was $1,700 that I pulled from that account, but I will need to start building for oil changes and maintenance and things like that. Um, Christmas always gets 300 and I'm going to kind of skip this cause you'll see that on the other page. Um, so landscaping for this month is 210 because it's three, three times. And instead of pulling this out in cash, I'm now just leaving it in my account and then mowing my husband. Uh, our landscaper only takes Zelle. I don't have Zelle at the credit union. So my husband has it on his personal checking account. So I do just transfer that to him and he pays him. Our phone bill has stayed the same. It will go down a little bit next month because my daughter's phone is finally paid off. But I think what we're going to do, this is a bill that we are going to shop around as soon as my husband gets back into town. Um, plan on leaving AT&T, maybe T-Mobile, maybe Mint. If you have any experience with T-Mobile or Mint, please leave it in the comments. Um, I'm very nervous to change because we had Verizon and Verizon, I do not have good service at my house. So we had to move to AT&T. Um, we do have some discounts from my former employer, but it's crazy how much we're spending on phones right now. Um, my electric bill, I am assuming it's going to be about 450. That's where I'm tracking. My water and trash went up. I don't know if we have a leak or a hose was left on, but it went from a normal 120 to 196. So I had to redo all my budget. Um, our gas bill is in. It's 31. Internet. Um, last month it was it did go up five dollars but that was um or 25 dollars. it was a fee that happened because the credit card that was on file was expired but it really wasn't but it's, it's a whole nother fight for a whole nother day so uh direct tv is our streaming that's 110 netflix is 16 hbo plus is 11 hulu is 17 our life insurance is 106 Gym is 59, car wash is 25, and our medical insurance also went up um, when it was 1,560, yeah, 76. So there was that. So 210 plus 262 plus 450 plus 196 plus 31 plus 120, 110, 16, 11, 17, 106, 59, 25, and 1,576 is 3189. So those are my fixed expense. They're there every month, whether, you know, I like it or not. My homeowner's insurance, we do pay annually. So that breaks down to 130 a month that I put aside for that. My auto insurance is 270 and that is also an annual. And then my property tax is 240. So I just take these bills, divide it by 12 months. And then that's how I come up with these numbers that I need to put aside every month. 75 for HOA and pest control. I do have service this month in September, so that'll be 95. So my, what I call my variable fixed expenses is 130, 270, 240, 75, and 95, 810. So the total is 99. Well, I guess I could just put 4,000. <laughs> that would probably make more sense. Okay, then my lifestyle, I am going to bring groceries down to 500. Um, my husband is traveling part of this month and then at the end of the month again. So 
when it's just me, I just went to the grocery store, I spent like $60 and that's what I've been eating. So it won't be as high as if I'm feeding both of us. Eating out, I'm gonna leave it 200. Spending, I'm taking down to 100 just because I spent so much last month that I really shouldn't give myself $50 and then go ahead and spend out of my envelopes too. So that one's gonna go down to 100. My mom, 50. Entertainment, um, I'm gonna put 100, but I already spent it, so I'm gonna put it in and take it right back out because I bought tickets to go see the Taylor Swift Eras concert at the movies. Um, so I bought four tickets and that was $100. Miscellaneous, I am not funding, I haven't been using it. Personal care, I'm gonna keep it 200. Household is 50. So 500 plus 200 plus 100 plus 50 plus 100 plus 200 plus 50. So I'm just gonna write that down here because I still need to add these in. Um, so groceries online, I'm just gonna leave the whole amount, the whole 500 online because quite frankly, I don't shop with cash. I have not been. Gas is going to be 300. That's what I've been running. Medicine, I always leave 100 there. And then giving, I still have the money from before. I've been tithing right off the top. So just, I had it on here and then I, there was too many comments, so I just, I do it off the top now. Giving, I'm not going to put anything. Um, simple paper is a subscription. It is 35, Faded Chronicle is 41. These both come out on the first of the month. Elements is 80, Audible is 16. Paper Minty Studio. I'm gonna put 100, but I'm gonna have to really rethink this one. It just keeps going up. Um, Coffee Monster Co. won't be due until next month. So 35 plus 41 plus 80 plus 16 plus 100 plus 1,200, 1,472. I'm just gonna check that my math is right. That seems weird. 50, 100, 200, plus 50, plus 300, plus 100, 35, 41, 80, 16, 100. Okay, let's try this again. 500, 200, 100, 50, 100, 200, 50, 300, 100. Okay, because I didn't add that in. Okay, that makes sense. 41, 80, 16, and 100. 1,872, that goes up here to lifestyle, 1,872. So if I take my income of 8,136 minus my fixed expenses of 3,999 minus my lifestyle, 1,872, minus the 500 that's going into savings, that leaves sinking funds of 1,765. So my total expenses and money that I am planning for will equal my total income. So then once I come up with the number of what I'm putting into um, my envelopes, then I come over to this sheet and I've already plugged them in just because these are my always do. Um, so everything down here are transfers into Capital One. Everything up here are envelopes. I do have my annual bills and those things on here because those get transferred into Capital One even though they also are accounted for in my fixed expenses. So I don't pull cash for those. I don't add that into the money that is, you know, my cash pull. Um, normally I do pull a little bit more, um, but I really did not have a lot to work with. So there was that. <laughs> So let's go ahead and get started doing cash stuffing. This always takes me a little bit more time. I have my cash over here. 
it is $1,605. It is not 100% of what I'm gonna need for the month, but it is what I felt comfortable pulling out right now. Because even pulling the money, sorry, I'm gonna bring that back in here. Even pulling the money for, um, leaving the money that I had that went back to the bank, I had to take part of that money back. So that means I was gonna take it back in and pull it right back out again. So we're just gonna try this and we'll see what happens. So for groceries, that's gonna be 100% online. Eating out is 200. I put 50 in. Okay, this 20 is the most disgusting 20. I'm gonna put that to the side for right now. I'm gonna put 50 in for the first week. I used to do this. I used to pull for the first half of the month and the second half of the month, and then I just hated going to the bank. But um, I might do that. That way I'm not pulling as much out and feeling like I need to take money back. Um, spending is gonna be 25. I'm gonna give myself this gross 20 and a five, and that goes into my wallet. Household gets 50. I do need to stock up on a few things like paper towels and that kind of stuff. I did spend all of household on just cleaning. So my, while my husband's out of town, I have been cleaning and doing that deep cleaning that I normally don't take the time to do. So I did have to go get a few little supplies. So I took out what was here. Um, my mom is getting 50, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the full amount in. Um, miscellaneous, I am skipping. Personal care is getting 200. I'm gonna do 250s, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, and this should be 10 ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I am getting a pedicure tomorrow. I do need to get my hair cut and I'm taking my daughters with me. So this will be gone. Um, entertainment, it was a hundred going in. That hundred is going right back to bank. I already spent it, but I had already pulled the money. So that goes right back. So there is nothing left in entertainment for the month. <laughs> um, which is just, you know, we'll have to figure out other ways. Um, maybe my spending money or maybe um, if it's my husband, I can come out a date night. Okay, so for this binder, um, I haven't started these yet. I will soon. Um, but I did put 50 for Halloween. Um, while we don't really go out or anything, we do need to buy candy. And with the way prices are right now, that's probably gonna be just enough. I do tend to go to my sister's house and we do hand out candy together. So um, I don't even know in my neighborhood how much it would be. Um, I did figure it is time to start Thanksgiving. So I put 100 in Thanksgiving. In my um, birthday, it's 50. Um, so now I have 100 and I will update all of these later. My birthday was in July. My husband's birthday is this month in a couple weeks, but it is already fully funded at 590, so I'm gonna skip him this month. Um, my daughter Megan gets 50. She also has a July birthday. The cars is my, sis my daughter, son-in-law. Um, I put 100 in. My daughter's birthday is in October, so I have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, and 70 dollars in this one. Yes, um, yes, like yes, that is correct. Okay, on um, family birthday, I'm skipping my nieces and nephews. I have skipped for a while now, but it is getting very low. So I'm gonna put $100 in here, and I like to do that in 20s and 10s. So 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90. Actually, I'm gonna put, they're kind of at the age where they just like cash. 
So let me just make sure. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. And I currently have 70 in here. So 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 60, 7, 68, 69. Oh yeah, I was short a dollar. I have uh, 69 in here. So now I have 169. Okay, and I'll, I'll make that pretty later when I update these. Liam and Milo are my daughter's dogs. Um, I wiped this one out, but he just got replenished on food and he just got replenished, uh, just has nails cut. So I'm gonna start with 30 in this one. And then let's see, for this binder, date night gets, got my cheat sheet. Date night is getting 50. Is that right? 50, 56. Okay. Um, I will go ahead and put another 50 in there. So now I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, and 6. It's amazing when he is traveling, I don't eat out. <laughs> I have not eaten out for, well, he's been gone almost two weeks. I haven't eaten out for two weeks. I just try to get food at home. Um, electricity will be funded if I am under, if our bill is less than what I'm estimating, but I kind of feel comfortable with what I estimated. 75 goes into HOA. I'm trying to build this up so that I can have the entire year for next year in here. And then I don't have to put it into my budget every month. So currently I have 150, 170, 190, 310, 320, 330. So 330 in here. But if money is tight and I need it this year, then it's gonna go there. Um, household, I put it in the other envelope. Lawn care is gonna be a transfer. Pest control, we have service, so I don't add to that. Property taxes, I moved to my online account all but $50 because I didn't have prop money for that. Um, Sutton is my granddaughter. I did start a 529 that is pulled out for our, from our investment account every, it comes out of my checking account, but it's with our financial advisor. So this money in here would really just be for money that I wanted to buy her something. But she's not at that age where she really needs anything yet, but I kind of want to build that up for that. Target is not getting funded. I still have $90 on my red card. And vacation is going to be my online account. And that is it. So some of this money could go back to the bank at this point. Um because I've already stuffed everything that I'm going to stuff. But, so for spending, I'll go ahead and pull that out. So this will be the balance of spending. I mean, I'm used to $50 a month, a week. Um, and honestly, I, I'm, it's like I'm spending it twice. I'm spending out of spending and I'm spending out of my envelopes. Um, eating out, I'll go ahead and put the balance in here. So that way I don't take it back to the bank and have to go get it back out. So that is the balance for eating out. Spending is there now. Household is fully funded. My mom is funded, miscellaneous, I skipped, personal care is funded, entertainment I've already spent. Okay, so the rest of this could actually go back to the bank. So 120, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 70. Okay, so 300, 310. 
Okay, so I'm gonna put that in my back-to-bank folder. And I think this time what I'm going to do is do a mid-month back-to-bank and then I'll do the end of the month. Um, and that way I'll start cash stuffing fresh for October. So it's just, you know, I really try to be super positive because I do love budgeting, but I am just at that point right now where I am tired. And I, I think it's just really taking a deep look at my, you know, how many hours I have in the day, what I have energy for, what, you know, what is worth it to me, what is not worth it to me. So I'm really just kind of doing a edit of my time right now. And while it seems like budging, I'm going to have to do it anyways, but I would probably, if I was not filming it, would not do cash. I would just be cashless other than I do like to have a little bit of cash in my wallet and I like to have a little bit of cash at home in case I need it. But other than that, I feel like if I was not filming it, I would be just cashless and it would be less time for me to go to the bank, figure out the denominations, film it, edit post, and so on. So let me know how you are in your budget. Um, I'd love to have some feedback if you've ever hit this kind of roadblock in your budget where you just a, don't want to do it or you feel like it's just so routine that nothing changes that it just you could do it in your sleep. Like I could probably monitor my transactions in my sleep because I always keep a running total. I don't have to write it down to look at it. Um, but I think it's a good practice, particularly when we were working to get out of debt. It was a great practice for me. So that is everything for this video. I hope you are doing well. Um, happy September one today. Um, I'm hoping it starts to feel like fall in Phoenix. It does not so far. I hope where you are, you are feeling like it is fall and I hope you are well. Take care.